The head of the school board in Griffin told me the Ku Klux Klan there is a legitimate community group, much like the Kiwanis Club. He says there was never any question of its right to rent the school's auditorium. But members of the National Anti-Klan Coalition disagree. They say today's Klan is oriented towards hatred and violence. The Klan has been involved in violence recently in almost every border state to Georgia, and Klan-like activities have gone on within this state. Violent incidents like this Klan shootout in North Carolina and the paramilitary camp in Alabama are what worry the anti-Klan group. They say allowing the Klan to use tax-supported facilities insults the taxpayers the Klan opposes. We all know that state monies and federal monies are appropriated and allocated to school systems across this state. And I think it's an insult to black people and all right-thinking people to allow the Klan, a bunch of vigilante murderers, to use a public facility. Griffin-based civil rights groups have canceled their protest against the Klan to avoid violence. This group equates that to women refusing to speak out against rapists. So Saturday afternoon at 5, Atlantans against the Klan will congregate here on the steps of City Hall, then drive to Griffin to join a picket line there. They say they will ignore the people who say they shouldn't protest because it might cause violence, saying instead the worst that could happen is the Klan could meet in a public high school and no one show up to protest. From City Hall, Gary Reeves, Action News.